folks, I had to call this uh, Ditch Bees, and you can see why. I've set up my uh, sheet here, and I got some paper here trying to get underneath the bees so that uh, not, I would not lose anything or lose the queen down in the bottom of the hole. Uh, and my goal is to now try to reach in and grab the bees handfuls at a time and put them into the box here. So the first attempt uh, goes pretty good. I realize there's uh, quite a few bees in here. And as you can see, I pulled them out and uh, threw them in the box gently and that's when I got quite a bit of a surprise here as you can see uh, there's comb inside this hole so I knew the bees had to be here for a few days so quickly again I tried to pull out some more bees and also try to feel how uh, many bars of uh, comb there are in there. Bees are still quiet trying to cling, cling to it so uh, I'm just reaching in there carefully and trying to pull out all the bees around it. And finally, I had, to, of course, to stop filming because there was no way to film it and grab these comb and pull the bees out. Uh, I did not see the queen on any of these. I thought I might, but I could have easily grabbed her as I was pulling uh, the bees out and putting them in the little nuke box. And as you can look in there, you can see the culvert. So this is kind of like a washout hole. And when you kind of look at it here, the bees uh, had about a foot a tall and about a two foot deep hole there that they were the swarm landed in and uh, started building their comb. And I was able to grab uh, most of the bees out of there. And you can look here again that they are starting to fan on top of the nuke, nuke box, but there's still a little pile of bees in there. So I reached in there and I tried to grab them out and again, kept putting them gently into the box. And as you look around here, uh, they seem to be doing pretty good. They've been very gentle, really didn't have any trouble with them. Uh, and again, as you can see, they're, they're fanning pretty good on the box. My biggest goal was trying to not lose any, and that's again why I had the sheet and the papers there, not to maybe even lose the queen down in the grass. So I think uh, they were doing good, grabbed the last few bees, then I sprayed some peppermint spray in the hole to keep them from going back in there. And it started raining on me here, so I had to close the box up, and then I pull all the sheets and the paper away. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, the bees uh, seem to be doing fine and starting to go into the box. The rain was coming down a little bit harder, uh, so I had to end up closing the box up and then and getting it out of there. Hopefully save the bees from being washed away in the upcoming rains in the ditch. Thanks for watching and God bless.